Um, the next one is up, and uh, I have been pronouncing it all wrong every time I pronounce it, uh, because my Russian sucks. Uh, so this time I, I tried to do my best. The next one is Kuznik. Kuznich. Yeah, there you go. Kuznich. There, there, there you go. Hello. My name is Michael Pogrebniak, and I'd like to tell you about our startup called Kuznich. What we are doing is uh, one of the biggest challenges of uh, modern internet. We are trying to build a visual search system. Uh, it's difficult to imagine, but right now there are more than three trillion of images in internet, which is quite a lot. And it's also difficult to imagine that probably for us, visual information is in about 83% of the total information that we are uh, collecting from outer space. And it's also difficult to imagine that every day uh, in about 350 millions of images, Facebook uh, users upload it to the Facebook. Uh, and all these figures shows that the problem is really huge. There are more than 50 companies who are in their competition in the visual search, but no one is a leader. You can tell me that, okay, but Google is using the Google Peak search, and probably we can search through the Google. Yeah, that's true, but you can imagine that Google only addresses le less than 1% of all the images in the Internet. Uh, our technology based on statistical approximation, and it means that we are not trying to use and to understand the context of the image. And it means that we are able to uh, create pretty scalable and fast uh, service for all their users in the, in the internet. Uh, we spend in about a year and a half building this technology. And right now we have a, a business uh, to business model which is focused on the business needs of our internet. It's especially electronic uh, shops, it's image monitoring, and it's uh, social media. And also we are trying to build uh, the consumer application, and our ultimate goal is to build their uh, generic search engine based on the visual search. Uh, right now we are addressing to the market two products. The first one is the product for the visual uh, shopping. Imagine that you are going to the traditional shop and uh, every time when you are trying to choose something, uh, you can uh, look around and find something which is similar uh, to what you are looking for. And we are building the same uh, opportunity for you, but in internet. It means that uh, if you have uh, your own uh, e-shop or probably if you are the customer, you can uh, use our service and find their uh, similar shoes or similar bags or similar uh, furniture or something which is similar to existing one. And it means that probably you will get uh, the new visual experience uh, when you are using our technology when you are buying online. Our second product is uh, the system for automatic tagging. It means that using uh, some sort of trusted database, we are able to add tags uh, to a lot of pictures which is uh, online but in uh, there, but without tags. Uh, it's also very important to understand that traditional search engines are using the meta information in order to uh, tag the existing images. If there are no any meta information together with the image, uh, your image will never be searched through uh, Google or through Yandex or through any other traditional uh, search systems. We also have uh, a pretty tight roadmap, and you can see there are a lot, we have a lot of ideas, but right now we are focused especially on e-commerce. And also, there are three types of uh, partners in this uh, interesting adventure. Social networks, photo sharing sites, and image retailers. All of them, they have a lot of uh, Im imagers online, and these small figures is the, billion of, is the billion of imagers which is uh, stored in these uh, services. We started a year and a half ago, and right now we finished with the technology, and also we finished with our first two products. We have uh, the headquarter in St. Petersburg, and also we have uh, the sales in Moscow, and we have a tiny uh, uh, representative in the United States. Uh, the team consists of uh, 12 persons, and right now we have finished uh, our negotiations uh, with their investment fund for the round day. 
Uh, thank you very much. If you have questions, you're welcome. St. Petersburg. Did you, yeah. did you fly out here? or? Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. No buses? Yes, but, you know, uh, by bus it will take, I should say, like 18 hours, but by fly it will take an hour and a half. And you have enough money nowadays. You kidding? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's hear it. Questions, feedback? Sergey. Uh, why your technology doesn't work? Why does it not work very well? Where it does not work very well? Most of those technologies, uh, which do image uh, search, they don't really do uh, very well in complicated images. They don't deliver good results. They lose some images. Uh, so in which scenarios your technology uh, doesn't work? It's a good question, actually. Uh, I should say that probably it will not work uh, in the following way. We, we do some tests uh, with the social networks. And probably imagine that you are comparing two images, your own photo, like you and your partner are sitting together in a restaurant. And you know, uh, the same uh, pictures uh, of the people who are doing the same. Probably uh, when we are trying to compare your image uh, with the other, we will achieve pretty bad results. It's due to the fact that we are not doing uh, right now uh, the face detection and face recognition the right way. Probably the best uh, results we achieved when we are comparing our uh, uh, the nature, when we are comparing uh, something which is like the soft goods, like, you know, bag shores, whatever, uh, when we are comparing their arts, like paintings, or uh, when we are comparing something with their pretty good uh, shape, uh, color, and uh, texture. Yes. Um, one of the Clearly, the need for this exists, uh, but there's also a couple of big companies that are very well funded and very, and they are massive around the world, like Google, Yandex in this region. So, I mean, I'm sure they are thinking about this. So, uh, why do you think that what you're doing, you know, can be potentially better than what they can do internally? And do you think, you know, that... It's that a good question, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a very good answer. The first one, uh, visual search is not a primary business for all these uh, giants. They are not doing money on visual search. The second thing, that they are not trying to grow this technology internally. They prefer to buy the existing companies with existing technologies. There are a lot of uh, examples, and the nearest one that Google bought a uh, Ukrainian company called Vudul, which was like two or three uh, weeks ago. And also, we analyzed uh, the whole story of uh, M&D in this area, and we saw that probably uh, like more than 50% of startups are in this area either run the cemetery or were acquired by giants like Google, like uh, Amazon, like Apple, uh, Facebook. Thank you. For what are you using the funds you're raising right now? What are the concrete, what are the concrete um, uh, fields where you invest the funds you're raising now? What are you doing with the funds you're raising ah, now? Okay, uh, it is uh, necessary for, to have some money for us in order to do the following things. We need uh, extra computer power. We just played with a lot with the various models, like clouds, whatever, but we need a very specific uh, computing power which is uh, uh, we were unable to find in, uh, in, uh, in the way of uh, renting them. So we need to invest into, the, into some hardware. Also, we need to invest into our sales. Also, we need to invest uh, to some extra uh, research and development. So uh, I should say that probably we are more focused on selling right now, and we need to improve our sales force, and that's why we need money here. I mean, you know, it's this space as well as in the United States. What, what are the segments you are focusing on? Because you show a lot of uh, potential business fields and what is, you know, the next um, uh, segment you are focusing on? Our next segment is e-commerce, as I told you. And after e-commerce, we are going 
We are trying to go to the social networks. Okay. Brian? Sure. Uh, I'd love to hear it. Brian. Sorry. I'm sorry. I have to be strict. Five minutes is five minutes. Ah. So, um, so, no, not a short question. Every startup is the same. Thank you very much. Spasiba. We have to be on time. <laughs>